Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to be talking about three phase balanced voltages. So we're going to uh, start step by step to understand what three phase balanced voltages are. So let's start off the word phase. What does phase mean? So phase is simply a terminology that basically gives a, a degree or some sort to indicate where uh, at which period of its cycle starts at. So to start off we have to may create a reference wave. So let's draw a graph here. So we have this reference wave right here, right? And it starts, this is our reference wave and we can see that it starts at zero degrees. Now the terminology phase basically means is that our wave that we are dealing with starts at a different time. So let's say that this is our reference frame and our actual, wa actual wave starts here. So what we know is that our reference, reference wave starts at zero degrees and then our actual wave starts at this point. And this distance is simply our phase. That's what our phase is. And our phase ranges from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. It ranges from 0 to 360 degrees. So that's what phase is. Now, what we have to identify is the terminology three phase. What does three phase mean? Basically means is that we have, you know, our graph. Let's say this is our, uh, just our, uh, so simply uh, three phase means that there are three waves occurring at the same time. So we have one wave here, and then we can say another wave here, and then another wave. So we have three different waves three phases, right? Three phase meaning that, you know, they are coordinated at different positions. So we can say that this phase, I mean this wave, wave A starts at here, wave B starts at here, and wave C starts at here. So there are three different phases. Now, let's understand what does it mean three phase balanced? Three phase balance basically means that the three waves are coordinated at a certain position which cancels each other out. Canceling it uh, causes balancing it, causes the balance. So how do we do that? What is the necessary component, the necessary condition which has our three different waves cancels each other out because um, and so in order to do that what we need to do is we need to set them apart equally with one another so we have wave A here wave B wave C understanding that we have to consider the possibility what what phase is they are separated at a certain degree and here, the degree is 120. So A is aligned 120 degrees apart from B. B is, uh, C is aligned 120 degrees away from B. And A is aligned 120 degrees from C. So in our graph, we have line A here. 
So line B is 120 degrees, right? 120 degrees. Apart from one another and line C is 120 degrees apart from one another as well. So that is our coordination and that's what three phase balance mean. Phase is that they are separated on, uh, from a certain degree from one another. Three phase, three different waves and three phase balance meaning that they were coordinated 120 degrees so that the combination of these three waves if you add them up would equal to zero. Okay now what we need to do is understand, okay, what is three phase balanced voltages? So we've identified what these three terms means, three phase balance. So what does three phase balanced voltages, like what is the picture of that? So we have our three phases. line A, line B, and line C. Three phase balance voltages basically means that we have a voltage on each uh, phase. So we have VA here, VB, and VC. When it's balanced, each voltages have the same magnitude. So that magnitude, we can take, for example, the power outlet in our house. Depending on which location it is, I'm in North America, so it's 120 volts. So if you write them down, VA, VB, VC, they would all be 120. The difference is, is that they are coordinated differently at different phases. So what that means is that they all have their different degree. So looking back to our graph, line A, as you can see, starts at zero degrees. That could be our reference line. Line B starts at 120. And then for line C, it starts at 240. So that is three phase balance voltages. And to know that it is balanced, what we can do is we take VA plus VB and VC. And if you add them up, it should equal to whatever value that determines that it is balanced. Now I'm not gonna no, I'm not gonna show you what the answer for this is. That's a challenge for you as a viewer to know.